Dear brothers and sisters, parishioners and vis visitors to our Holy Trinity Russian Orthodox Church, I greet you with the new year, uh, 2021. 20, we just finished the great uh, feast days of the Nativity of our Lord and the uh, Epiphany or Baptism of our Lord. Uh, the, the services were very festive. Our choir always sung excellently, very prayerful, and very professionally. We thank George Skok for his professionalism in the choir and for his great efforts in the choir. Tomorrow is St. Tatiana's Day, uh, a martyr of the very, very early church. And it's interesting that uh, in Russia, St. Tatiana's Day is also known as Students' Day because Count Shuvalov and his mother, Tatiana Shuvalova, um, uh, organized the first major Russian university in Moscow, which is located, the old university is located just across the street from the Kremlin. And the church for students to come and pray was dedicated to St. Tatiana, the martyr, which was, who was martyred in Rome. Uh, it's interesting that uh, the first, the, the church was closed, of course, during Soviet times in 1918, but opened uh, approximately in 1995. And the first iconostasis from, from this uh, Church of St. Tatiana is from one of our churches uh, from New York City dedicated to St. Saint, uh, Seraphim Afsarov, the church that was owned by the St. Seraphim Fund and the very famous, um, wonderful priest, pre archpriest, presbyter, um, Alexander Kisilov, was serving in this church. And when he returned to Russia, he took the iconostasis with him and donated this iconostasis of, of St. Saint, Saint Seraphim of Sorov to the University Church of St. Tatiana. And it, it stood in, in the upper church until the a new iconostasis was, was built. And the... American iconostasis that was built in 1951 by refugees from Russia in New York City is now in the basement church of um, the University Church of St. Tatiana. And when you go to Moscow, absolutely visit the church, the University Church of St. Tatiana, and go in the basement church where you see the American iconostasis from 1951 donated to this uh, university church. Also, I'd like to thank all those that supported our Holy Trinity Russian Orthodox Monastery in Jordanville. Last week on Friday, two of uh, the Jordanville seminarians returned to the seminary, and we, had, we got the idea of collecting donations for the monastery, because the monastery, as all churches nowadays during the virus epidemic, needs financial support. Since we have very, very limited in, in the numbers that, that can come to our church, uh, we collected uh, during one week of services $3,700. Also, the sisterhood added to that amount 3000 from their fund uh, from the bazaar uh, from, dedicated to, to, the, to the monasteries. So the monastery received a check from us, $6,700,000. Also, there were other donations. So in total, Holy Trinity Monastery received from us approximately $8,000. And we're very grateful to our parishioners that are very generous. Uh, financially, we're quite stable. Stable because um, our parishioners and visitors to the church are very generous with their donations. We received, since October, $100,000 uh, very quickly to completely cover the costs of our new uh, steam boiler and steam system of heating. And the contributions are still coming in. Also, there are certain government programs that we're taking advantage of. So financially, we're quite stable and uh, only because of your generosity. And we thank you heartily and God bless you for your love of the church. Many, many years ago, the first balls, uh, gala balls that were organized by the Russian Culture Aid Society was called the Tatiana Ball because this was a student event, a student ball. And at that time, after the Second World War, our parishioners were quite young, and they celebrated the Tatiana Ball. Now it's called a different name, uh, Russian Gala Ball. But in the beginning, it was called Tatiana Ball. And nowadays, uh, throughout the world, the Tatiana Balls are being resurrected. And uh, 
many, many Russian people are returning back to the old traditions that were during the Tsarist times, which is a nice thing to see. Even in Russia, they have Tatyana balls at a very wonderful, noble level. Since tomorrow is St. Tatyana's Day, I wish to congratulate all our T Tatyanas. And there's wish you the best to continue on in watching our services online. Of course, we're very, very limited in the numbers, uh, 10 people, which isn't a lot. But since we have many services, evening services, morning services, all those that ask to be at a service, definitely we uh, find, find an opening for you to visit and pray. God bless and happy St. Tatiana's Day.